All new tonight, Clayton's Beach Bar and Grill on South Padre aiming to attract even more people by expanding this time into the ocean. CBS 4 Tiffany Huertas is here to explain that. Marcy, the owner of Clayton's Beach Bar and Grill, tells me this will be the island's biggest tourist attraction, second to Schlitterbahn. They're excited for this new addition to lure even more patrons to their spot on the beach. Margie Foster doesn't miss a trip to the island when she's in town. And now, with the word that a new pier is in the works, she may even increase her visits. That way we can go out and watch them fish and fish also. You don't have to get on the sand. And then the jetties down there are so slippery and it's bad to walk out on. But this would really be a great. A permit for a 1,000 foot long surfside pier has been approved at Clayton's Beach Bar and Grill. The handicapped accessible pier will be designed for fishing, weddings and other special events. But not all beachgoers are rooting for the addition. I think the beach should be for the surf only and then fishing should be on the bayside. Owner Clayton Brashier says they applied for the permit over two years ago and believes the pier will bring more business to the island. With 5,000 people every day for 20 days of spring break converging at this location, emergency responders say they are well equipped to handle the crowds. Well, there's always risks wherever you go, whether it's the jetties down on the south end, um, a sunburn, or a pier on the gulf. In term South Padre Island Fire Chief Albert Perez says there are eight firefighters on duty that will continue to monitor the beach and the new pier when it is erected. We're aware of the hazards here on the island and we have the capabilities and the equipment for to respond to any incident. Brashear says they will be hiring their own security for the pier. The over $3 million project is expected to be completed by the end of the year. Live in the studio, Tiffany Huerta, CBS4News and ValleyCentral.com.